This black hole is dangerous, interesting, and enigmatic. Black holes, places where gravity is so powerful that it twists the entire nature of space and time around them so strongly that not even light can escape their attraction, are probably the most fascinating cosmic occurrences. Black holes are commonplace in the universe. It is estimated that our Milky Way alone contains more than 100 million of them. They are frequently portrayed as terrifying monsters who devour everything in their path in science fiction thrillers, such as the 2014 film Interstellar. Black holes are fortunately believed to be out there and far away. What if they are not? The nearest black hole has been discovered by astronomers right outside our front door. Is a massive black hole on its way to Earth? How likely is it that Earth will fall into a black hole? Let's find out. The closest black hole ever known to Earth has been found by astronomers. The black hole, which is about four times as massive as our Sun and is around 750 light years away in the southern constellation Telescopium, is only about 7.5 miles 12 kilometers across. A thousand light years is a huge distance by our standards. HR 6819 would be four miles away if a model of the Milky Way was scaled so that Earth and the Sun were only a hair's width apart. Nonetheless, HR 6819 is rather close in relation to the Milky Way, which is more than 100,000 light years across and shows that the galaxy is strewn with black holes. Researchers discovered the hidden beast when utilizing a telescope at Chile's La Silla Observatory to detect binary stars. They observed that the inner star orbits rapidly while the outer star moves slowly in the twin star system HR 6819. Hence, the stars are not just revolving around one another. There must be an invisible third object close to the system's center. Every 40 days, the inner star and the hidden object circle one another. The outer star gently orbits the pair farther away in the meantime. Astronomers assert that the invisible object can only be a black hole because it has a mass that is at least four times that of the sun. Finding a black hole that is silent and not actively consuming a neighbor is challenging since they attempt not to betray themselves. But even though black holes don't produce light, the gravitational effects they have on other observable things can still be incredibly instructive. For instance, you can really see the two stars that circle the black hole in HR 6819 with the naked eye on a dark, clear night in the Southern Hemisphere. As extremely huge stars die, they collapse, creating black holes. And although these stellar mass black holes may seem strange to us, they ought to be very prevalent in the cosmos. Many millions of them should be present in our Milky Way galaxy, according to scientists, yet only a handful have been located thus far. Astronomers have only identified stellar mass black holes because they are serving as cosmic lighthouses, emitting X-rays as they ferociously consume things like gas and stars. But these extreme objects aren't really typical of what astronomers anticipate to find in the universe. The vast majority of black holes ought to be lurking in silence and not devouring anything. There should be numerous more hidden black holes like HR 6819, even though it is one of very few that have ever been discovered. This is really only the tip of the iceberg. Black holes are expected to be discovered closer to Earth as astronomers look for more of them. Black holes are predicted to exist within a few dozen light years of Earth, which would bring them closer than some of the brightest stars in our night sky. In contrast, the V616 Monocerotis black hole, which is tucked away in a binary system more than 3,000 light years away, formally held the record for being the closest black hole. Cataloging objects isn't the only step in finding these black holes either. To put their hypotheses about how stars live and die to the test, researchers must locate them. Researchers are still unsure of how residing in a system with several massive members influences the star's evolution. The fact the scientists don't fully comprehend how supernova explosions function is another unexpected mystery. However, since some supernovae can create black holes, comparing the number and sizes of observed black holes to what various supernova theories predict is one approach to assess competing hypotheses. Therefore, they can more precisely determine whether they are correct when additional instances are added to the existing tiny list. When the third star fell into the current black hole, HR 6819 was probably once a triple star system. A globe revolving around the inner star would offer a strange sight, even if there are no known planets in the system. A solar eclipse occurs on Earth when the moon moves in front of our sun. The black hole would occasionally cover the outer star on a hypothetical planet circling the inner star in HR 6819. But the black hole would operate as a magnifying glass, focusing the light from the outer star rather than obstructing it. 
In the planet's night sky, it would produce what scientists refer to as a gravitational lens. This peculiar eclipse would appear to observers as a magnified bright disk encircled by a completely black ring. If the black hole passed in front of a brilliant background star, a similar pattern would show up. The black hole would only ever be visible when it ingested a stray piece of gas or a space pebble. Otherwise, the black hole ought to be invisible and black. So, astronomers will need to keep looking into different star systems for these muted monsters in the near future. Yet, is it possible that Earth may ever be sucked into a black hole? If so, what would transpire in this case? According to experts, there is almost no possibility that the Earth will ever collide with a black hole before it gets sucked up by the Sun in 5 billion years. Even though our galaxy alone contains innumerable stars, chance meetings between them are incredibly rare due to the vast distance between the objects. Such an encounter is so rare as to be close to zero, barring a hyper-advanced civilization with nearly limitless resources and energy that would deliberately launch a black hole toward the solar system. This can be extended to all galaxies' objects, much as we don't usually worry about stars traveling through our solar system. What nearby black holes are dangerous? According to astronomers, the nearest black holes to our solar system are far too far away to have any impact on it. There are two major size classes for black holes, stellar and supermassive, although recent research has revealed that there is likely also an intermediate class. The masses of stellar black holes are often several times bigger than that of the Sun. On the other side, supermassive black holes can have masses that range from millions to billions of solar masses. Stellar mass black holes, such as V616 Mon, are created from the remains of enormous stars that explode violently in the cosmos, in events known as supernovae. The second brightest star in the constellation of Orion, Betelgeuse, is one close star that theoretically may create a black hole. In the next 10,000 years or so, Betelgeuse will probably undergo a supernova as it is nearing the end of its life. But this star is about 500 light years distant, so even if it did become a black hole, Earth would not be affected. What would happen if Earth were to fall into a black hole? If a black hole were to somehow approach Earth very closely, closer than the Moon's orbit for example, and was moving slowly enough, the planet would probably be torn apart by the object's strong gravitational pull. The Earth's surface would be stripped of its atmosphere and oceans, while the mantle would spew molten metal into space. This earthly debris would enter the black hole's orbit and evaporate into ionized gas, which is a plasma made up of atoms or molecules with either lost or acquired electrons. The majority of the gas would be consumed over the course of a few hours to days, forming an accretion disk, a ring of material around the black hole. Nonetheless, the likelihood of this situation happening is incredibly remote. A situation in which a black hole approached the Earth just close enough to have an effect on it but not close enough to eat it is slightly more likely although it is still extremely unlikely. The primary threat here, at least for life, would be if the black hole perturbed Earth's orbit enough to influence temperature, or if it had the capacity to dislodge massive quantities of solar system material and send it hurtling toward Earth. While it's probable that life on Earth could survive such a catastrophe, it's almost certain that neither humankind nor the vast majority of multicellular organisms would. What would happen if you were to fall into a black hole? Then is another thing to know. So to be honest, no matter what kind of black hole you choose, the prognosis isn't good. Your body would go through a process known as spaghettification if you bravely dove into a stellar mass black hole. You would be stretched out while also being compressed from head to toe by the black hole's gravitational pull, hence the term spaghetti. So let's say that you decide to make your enormous leap for humankind and scientific inquiry into one of these supermassive black holes, which has slightly less horrific consequence. Sagittarius A star, is a supermassive black hole at the heart of the Milky Way believed to be around 44 million kilometers across and containing approximately 4.31 million solar masses. After you cross the event horizon, the point of no return, your journey into Sagittarius A star itself would start. Although you could see outside from within, no one could see you since all of the light would reflect back upon you. The good news is that even while the gravitational attraction is much stronger than that of smaller black holes, the tidal force that would otherwise cause you to become spaghetti is less. The bad news is that you couldn't escape. Or maybe you could. Your best bet is the white hole theory though. Simply put, if a black hole absorbs something, a white hole, wherever it may be, spits it back out, and the two are connected by a wormhole, an interdimensional passageway. Or according to another theory, if you wait long enough, the black hole will eventually transform into a white one. Although it is estimated that this process will take billions of years, there is no cause for discouragement. 
Why? Time would move more quickly for you because of the strong gravitational forces inside, and it would end in a matter of milliseconds. Of course, this is just a theory right now. Further evidence against a swan diving into a black hole can be found in the tidal disturbance detected by three NASA observatories in 2014. A star that was too close to a black hole in the center of a galaxy that was around 290 million light years away was the source of the event. When it was drawn into the singularity, it was stretched, torn, and deformed, and the remains of the perished star were expelled in a cosmic belch. It may be time to start learning more about these mysterious occurrences given that our galaxy alone has 100 million stellar mass black holes and that the Milky Way contains a supermassive black hole at its center that is so huge that it could fit inside the orbit of Mercury, at the very least, in case if we find ourselves on the verge of one. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.